paper. I met her at Rose Villa. She was sitting in the lobby talking about her art. So here's the stuff. And uh, it turns out that she does various art um, projects. Um, her background is she graduated from Maryhurst College in yeah. Art. Yeah. Maryhurst College in Art. And she teaches at uh, Clackamas Community College. And she also gets classes, or she's trying to form classes at Rose Villa. And she's oh. going to do um, paint pouring today and do a demo on that. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me today. And uh, I have to say I'm humbled <laughs> by all the beautiful art that I've seen walking in this morning. It's really amazing to be with the people who are uh, it to their heart. <laughs> so the, the greatest love of my life has been working for Clackamas Community College. Um, since 1978, uh, I've been working in community education. And for all of those years, <coughs> I was uh, doing art therapy for nursing home residents and retirement residents. And I learned actually back in 1978, I had a lot of older women who had basically grown up and, and basically were, their role in life was being housewives. And so they were afraid to try anything else. So all of my career there, I tried to get people interested in just trying out how to do things and not to be afraid. And that everything we do is creative. And it's, <clears throat> sorry, my voice is a little scratchy this morning. Everything you do is a movement forward in creativity and important in your life. So. Uh, most of the projects that I would have them do were things where I wouldn't tell them what to do. I would give them pieces or anything that would help them put together something, whatever they wanted to make that be. And so that's worked out really well for me. And uh, I love that it gives people the freedom to just create and not judge it and not be judged. And uh, so happily, uh, when I moved to Rose Villa four years ago, uh, there is like an open policy that anyone can teach a class if they want to. So I've been offering classes in uh, paint pouring, in uh, uh, silk screening, calligraphy, uh, uh, oh, uh, let's see, tie dyeing. I love the tie dye. <laughs> Not many older people have allowed themselves to do that. Uh, the other one we've been doing is uh, fab fabricating, and uh, so I just love anything that where inks mix together and make patterns that you would never ever see twice in a lifetime. So, canvas is paper, <coughs> and uh, work by pouring in so it's not everywhere. <laughs> and then you can take a box home and they dry. <laughs> so. So today, I'm going to attempt to show you how this works um, by just turning the box up and putting it on <laughs> paper towels, and hopefully there won't be too much of a mess. So uh, you know, uh, paint pouring is basically using acrylic paints that have been either used, thin down somewhat, or used full strength and or with an additive called Floetrol. And so you have just paint pouring, per se. You get just a flat surface, no, dis uh, nothing dispersed. So this was my attempt at some, a sunflower field. And I believe this one is also just pure paint on canvas. This one, however, Let's be sure you show it this way too. Oh, sure. Sorry. <laughs> so this one is a paint that's been treated with Floetrol. Mm -hmm. Is that Floetron? Floetrol. And I'll have these up here if you want to. Is that a gloss or like a extender? It's more of an extender. Uh, painters use it to disperse paint on the wall more evenly. And it thins it down. Thins it down a little. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. So, um, but this makes very beautiful patterns. Uh, yeah. 
So, and you know, also there are uh, tools that you can use to, like I cut out these uh, body tops or bottom bodies mm -hmm. because the paint can be poured over and it flows down in a pattern. So we'll try that too. And uh, oh, I forgot about this. Um, some useful tools are like that skewer, you know, skewer, wooden skewers, because you can make lines in the paint and move it around. So we'll try that. And uh, combs, any kind of comb. You can comb through a painting and create a create a pattern. I don't have a comb today, but that's a possibility too. Any questions before we go further? No questions? Okay. Great. <laughs> so the best way to do this is uh, I get these canvases at Joanne's. Whenever they're on sale, <laughs> you can get like. 10 or 12, depending on the size, for a very little price. So that goes a long way when you're teaching a class and want to provide materials. So when I do the classes at Rose Villa, I just turn people loose. They can do as many canvases as they want because it just keeps their interest <coughs> uh, going. So the best way to make this happen, you need a few push pins to put in the corners to act as a stand. So let me get these in here. Mm -hmm. oh. It doesn't matter what color they are. <laughs> you just acrylics that you use and water them down? Yeah, they're just basically acrylics that I get at Michael's or Joanne's. And I'll, I'll uh, have the bottle and then add water to one just to thin it a little. So you buy a bottle of liquid, more liquid to start nah, with? No, it's about a third to two thirds. Okay. And you can do what you want. I mean, it doesn't, the thickness, become, you know, you can use whatever no, rules. No, no, no. So, like okay. this one, I used pretty thick paint. Okay. And you can see where uh, by adding more paint and more paint, even though the paint uh, flattens out. As you pour, uh, if you let it dry, you can add more paint. So if you come up and look at these, you'll see there's significant uh, layers in the flowers. Um, so I put my base on and pulled it up off the table. And that's a good thing to do so that it doesn't stick to anything paper or cotton. And that just makes it easier for it to draw to drip off. So, um, if you if I if you can thin the paint and also add the floor trail, that will make it just spread more than it normally would. You add that too. Right. And the thing about the paint is that no matter how much paint you put on, when it dries, it will it will flatten to itself except if you let it dry and then keep adding and adding and adding, so, as I did with the sunflowers. So, I'm just going to, um, would someone like to come up and be my assistant? Do I have a volunteer? I knew you would. Robert, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, I'm going to put a pair of gloves on. And we're just going to start out with three basic colors. You know, and this is not what I call high art, <laughs> I, but it's fun art. Um, it is really fun art. You, you, you know, there are no two uh, paint points that are the same. And uh, oftentimes, you can get patterns that actually look like things, like uh, our friend over here, is it uh, Shirley? Shirley. Shirley. Shirley showed me a little block that she yeah. had. <clears throat> and there are actually whale shapes in it. So, yeah. Okay, so, pick a color. 
whichever one you want, and you're just going to open it. You want to shake it before you open it. Yeah. <coughs> your hand. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to ruin your beautiful dress. <laughs> okay, so you can pull it off. Put your glasses down first. Pull it straight up. And then just, you want to turn it, hold it up. Hold it up straight. Take the cap off. Okay, so you're just going to, yeah, let it. Great. It's okay. I'm just spin on it. So we can do one of two things. We can let it be and put another color on top of it. <coughs> Shake it in. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll do the same thing. Add it as you go. Like you could put this down and then make, do a portrait on yeah, top. Or, do yeah, it's really cool. Right. Give you some inspiration. Right. What else should I do? Well, what do you think? Do you want to do anything else? I want to play. Okay. Do we have so, tools for it? Do we have a, like little tools or? No. Well, you could take this and you could make pull out things. Is that how it works? Um, I would do more flicking from hold it more like this. Oh, okay. So that you draw the paint out and maybe just little sections at a time. There you go. Oh, see, I need to really press it in there. You see? Well, yeah, you can use that tool in many ways. Thank you. So, this is what I've you experiment. I've never done this before. This is what I do with my old ladies. Oh my gosh, I've never done anything like that before. I don't want it to get too gray, but actually the gray is really pretty. Yeah. So it's a nice color of gray. Yeah. Okay. okay, that's probably good. Could we have someone go wet this for me? Just wet it in the sink. And not too wet, but just a Can I set this here? Yeah, just set that there. Tell me how to do one more thing. Oh, okay. cool. <laughs> <laughs> She's a good student. <laughs> that one that reminds me of colors on peacock feathers. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Especially so, that one. Okay, that so another technique. Uh, now that you don't want to ruin this. Oh no, it's, it's beautiful. Okay, we can do whatever. Okay, we're gonna take this and fold it in half, and I want you to start at the bottom and put it across the top. Well, put the Right. Edge, right, yeah. Right here. Edge. Right. right. Lay it down flat. And then move the next this over to the other side. This? Well, this oh side. no, the middle part. The middle. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's like water. Oh. See look okay. how that looks. With it just <laughs> on the top. <laughs> okay. And then you just gonna go through and pat it. Pat it down so that it's Great. So 
He's going to put on. I want you to take it by the corners and bring it to the center. So get, bring one in. You can do it that way too. Oh no, no. Just pull it like this. Yeah. And then bring the other corner to that corner. Yes. And then hang it to the other. And then we'll just put this on. You'll find lots of ways to improve on this. Now, you could. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, there are more colors in the box. Do you see something you want to be careful? If anyone else wants to work on this, just raise your hand because I don't have to. Oh, I have one more for someone else. Okay. Good. I'm going to need one more volunteer. So yes. Get ready. Get ready. So you might just add some little design. <clears throat> Yeah, push down on it. Okay, that's a white zone too. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, these bottles you can get at Dollar Tree. They're just your basic Celtic and mustard bottles. They're like two for dollar twenty-five. Yeah, now that things are a dollar twenty-five. Yep. A dollar tree is now a dollar twenty-five. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna let you do that. I think they're just a surfactant. It's a surfactant that allows you to cover more. I've used it lots of times painting a metal wall. Okay, well, so it yeah. tries to bleed, do dumb things. Yeah. All right. I hold it upright. Okay. to throw it, don't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, we can't really throw here. <laughs> <laughs> it might, we could do them all. So. Yeah, we can do them all. Yeah, yeah. 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 We'll see what happens. I read my door. Ooh. That really thin yeah. out a little thinner. Yeah. I like the dots. <laughs> okay, now. Can we see you know, I've been making can you, can nine you, nine batches of jelly, and I'm like a lot of it. So let's see could if you I can quickly show this. it to us. What, where, what, what it looks like? like oh, okay. As soon as she lifts it, it'll start moving. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So she's got to have her face down. I'll get that on too tight. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna do this. Not blowing. Oh, it matches your shirt. It does. No, <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice that. The same colors. Okay, let's see. What else can I do? Where's the stick? Okay, let's keep it. The colors of the shirt, that's quite amazing. Oh. I didn't even notice that. It was subconscious. <laughs> so, well, I'm looking to see if this color is something to. I like that. Let's see, hold it up again. Hold it up again. Now, I realized that I told her when I started this, I wanted to see if less is more. Yeah. As opposed to, you know, it running off the edges and that kind of thing. So, so when you do something like this, you can um, you can let it pour over the sides. Mm -hmm. So you see this, and then I just let it pour over the sides. So basically, it was oops, so you can, or you can take your finger and pop it along. What's the bottom of the plastic bottle? How did you use? You just put the paint in there? Yeah, I, I divided the paint, the acrylic paint, in um, quarters maybe, and then added water. To the bottom to of the, the Oh, to the bottom. But that's not for your design, is it? No. Okay. But that's just to thin it down. Oh, okay. <clears throat> and then the flow trough added to that doesn't uh -huh. really thin it that much, but it makes it just uh, disperse. Still on your favorite. Oh, sure. <laughs> I still don't want to do anything else. Well done. All right. Kathy. Yeah. So let's do Kathy. Kathy. 
Gingerbread snowman. I mean, gingerbread. You mean like a hairbrush? Yeah. You say hairbrush? No, a brush. Oh, okay. 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 Just take this off. And just pour it. Three, four, 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 three, four
They can do as many or as few as they want. And I don't feel like I'm, I'm losing it. <laughs> because usually what happens is I, I charge for a class, and that's the materials fee. I'm not even being paid to teach it. It's just an activity to get people together. And I'm more interested in the social aspect of doing this kind of art for older people. And mostly for the reason I told you, that so many people think they don't know how to do anything, and there's some big secret of how to make this work. <laughs> Is that? It's just fun, it really. Yeah. Is. And you're going to be creative. Sure, yeah. um, yes. So you, yes. you went to Merrillhurst and took art therapy in the 70s? I, did. I graduated in 1972. Oh, that's incredible. I graduated in, in uh, 2000. Yeah, three. I, I wasn't part of the uh, art therapy. Oh, okay. I just took I, no. That was later, like in I took the a history eighties. And, <laughs> and uh, that's a quite an expensive course to mm -hmm. take. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Right, and then mostly when people graduated, there was no work for them. No, there mm -hmm. wasn't. No, of course not. But you just picked up the philosophy. Yep. It's incredible the confidence it gives people. Oh, they yeah. Actually, make right. something that they love. Right. Yeah. Uh, Read it one moment. I, what I would say is that uh, when I started doing this for Clackmas, <clears throat> right away I got put into Alzheimer units, mm -hmm. and I'll, you know, I was working with all kinds of people, and and there you realize, you know, that it doesn't. There's there's something of value value for every person you work with, mm -hmm. and you'll never know what it is mm -hmm. unless they're able to tell you. <laughs> so. It did. It made me feel more socially comfortable. Like, I have um, anxiety disorder, mm -hmm. and I noticed someone goes up there with you doing that. I just felt more yeah. comfortable and part of the group. And it's free. It's so fun. Yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you. Read it. Oh, I want to know uh, would you be willing yes. to do a workshop here on a Saturday where you would take more than an hour, like a morning class, yeah. um, if we assigned? learn a lot about color uh, and basically you know in many mediums the color aspect of it works the same way and you just learn to make your own colors and you know what you want and, um, so I am um, really pleased with that I also work in stained glass um, most and for most of my life not only did I teach but I had my own business so I mostly all the work that I did I learned uh, was commission work. So I'm at a place in my life now that when I do this, oh my God. Uh